Hey guys, Marco here from MyColorScreen.com bringing you the latest and greatest Android home screen tutorials. Now this home screen is quite special. It's called Minimal System UI by Gary Arts and you might recognize it. That is because if you've been watching this channel often, you'll notice that it's the home screen to the right of the screen over here. Yes, it is this very screen. It's quite old, but don't worry, I'll be creating a video tutorial just for you on how to create this very simple home screen. As you can see, it's got this awesome orange and blue combo that works really well, really stands out, and it's a very simple yet clean screen. It's got your all your notifications, your, your time, your battery, your weather, messages, dates, everything all in one simple neat screen, just like that. You wanna know how to create it? Well, let's start this video tutorial. Let us begin. All right, as always, seeing as Gary Arts, we're gonna be starting off with Apex Launcher. So we wanna go into our options, Apex settings, go into our home screen settings, and you wanna change portrait grid to a 10 by 10. That's right, 10 by 10 to get those widgets to fit quite nice. Next, manage screens, you only want one screen. Wallpaper mode, you want single screen, non-scrolling. So it gives you that portrait cropping effect for quick pick. And then you want to hide notification bar, hide icon labels. For dock, you want to hide the dock. And now finally in advanced settings, you either need resize any widget and overlapping widgets. Overlapping widget, not so important as you can make it work quite nicely, but I selected just in case. And that is our Apex settings done. Next, we'll be moving on to our wallpaper, the most important part. Okay, great. For our wallpaper, we're going to hold down on the home screen, select wallpapers. And you want to go to your quick pick wallpaper and find where you have saved Gary Arts's wallpaper. There it is, and because I've selected a single screen, non-scrolling portrait crop like this. So you wanna go over this side only and go save. And there it is, it should look like this. Obviously, if you've got Nexus 4 or Galaxy S3, you might have to suckle a bit just to get this to fit on properly. Don't worry, if Quick Pick doesn't work for you, you can always use wallpaper wizardry just to crop it quite nicely like this. Great, that is our wallpaper complete. Let us move on to our widgets. Okay, you wanna hold on, choose widgets, and for the widgets, we're gonna be using UCCW right there. Doesn't matter what size you choose, let's go for one by two. You wanna go open use zip, and you wanna copy those use zips that Gaios has provided onto your phone. So there, there it is, let's go for the first one. Now you just need to resize it, so you go resize. Great, and there is our first one done. My weather isn't showing right now, but just like that, I can use any other weather icon like this. See the UCC tutorial below if you get a bit stuck, if you wanna change that weather icon. But don't worry, mostly that weather icon will be there. Next, you wanna add in the other two UCCW widgets for the messages and the Gmail at the bottom. And there's all three of our widgets placed like this. Now, as you can see, our battery doesn't look too good and a few things need to be sorted out. So, say for our battery, that's one over here, all you have to do is tap onto it, go select object, we want a, our battery bar to, we're gonna select it and select position and we wanna jump it around a little. Do it for battery level as well, as well as static text. Great, once your battery level and battery bar have been moved over a little bit, you wanna select your Gmail, you wanna change it to your Gmail account. So you wanna go select object, Gmail one, scroll all the way to account, choose your primary email address and then your label, you wanna choose your inbox, boom. Go back and then as you can see it's looking a bit more like the home screen that you've always wanted finally at the top there as you can see that little falls a bit off so we want to move that as well by moving the shape and text messages okay and finally for the app draw icon at the bottom you want to hold down i'm going to be using desktop visualizer so hold down widgets desktop visualizer a 2.1 2 by 1 is what you need i'm going to tap it and you go select icon image file and i've created a little orange box right here for you and select action, this is quite important, you wanna go into other, Apex Actions, App Draw, boom. Clear app, clear the, the label, take off the touch effect if you want, go okay. As you can see it is right there. So now when you tap it, boom, opens up App Draw and it's a little blocky, RNG block, completed the home screen, completed the home screen tutorial. Thank you very much guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the My Color Screen channel as the videos are growing daily and you don't wanna miss out. Thank you very much guys for watching. This is Marco from My Color Screen and I'll see you around next time.